In this video, I have a super quick tutorial showing you how to create a multi-agent chatbot using LangGraph, DeepSeek R1, function calling, and agentic rag to build a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use. In my last video, I talked about LangChain and DeepSeek R1. One of the viewers asked if I could do it with LangGraph and I have fulfilled that request. And not only that, but I have also enhanced the chatbot with function calling and agentic rag, but Gao DeepSeek R1 doesn't support function calls. Yes, you're right, but let me tell you, I came up with a clever idea. If you stay until the end of the video, I'll show you how to do it too. I have mentioned the function call many times in my previous videos. We already know that the function call is a technique that allows LLM to autonomously select and call predefined functions based on the conversation content. These functions can be used to perform various tasks. Agentic RAG is a type of RAG that improves the problems of general RAG by using agents. The problem with conventional RAG is that the AI processes everything in order. So if an error occurs such as not being able to retrieve data, all subsequent processing becomes meaningless. Agentic RAG addresses these issues by using an agent. The agent not only chooses the tool to go to, but also allows for thought loops. So it can loop through multiple processes until it gets the information it needs and meets the user's expectations. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. We have two different databases, research and development, where we can get our answers. I have created some example questions that you can test. Let me enter the question. What is the status of project A? If you look at how the chatbot generates the output, it uses recursive character text splitter to split a text into smaller chunks and convert it into a document using splitter.create documents. These documents were stored as vector embeddings in Chroma DB for efficient similarity search. A retriever was created using the create retriever tool in Langchain and an AI agent was developed to classify user queries as research or development connect to DeepSeek R1 for responses, and retrieve relevant documents. One of the big problems I faced when I developed a chatbot was that DeepSeek R1 does not support function calling like OpenAI. So I created a text-based command system instead of using function calls. Rather than forcing DeepSeek R1 to use functions directly, I designed it to output specific text formats. Then I built a wrapper to convert these text commands into tool actions. This way, we get the same functionality as function calling, but in a way, DeepSeek R1 can handle it. A grading function checks if retrieved documents exist. If found, the process continues. If not, the query is rewritten for clarity. A generation function summarizes retrieved documents using DeepSeek R1 and formats the response. A decision function determines whether tools are needed based on the message content and a LangGraph workflow was created to manage the process, starting with the agent, routing queries to retrieval if needed, generating an answer when documents are found, or rewriting the question and retrying if necessary. Finally, it generates the final answer in a green box. By the end of this video, you will understand what is agentic rag, why we need agentic rag, and how a function call plus DeepSeek R1 can be used to create a super AI agent. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Agentic Rag is an rag that integrates the capabilities of an agent and the core capabilities of an agent are autonomous reasoning and action. Therefore, Agentic RAG brings the autonomous planning capabilities of AI agents, such as routing, action steps, reflection, etc., into traditional RAG to adapt to more complex RAG query tasks. The agent feature of Agentic RAG is mainly reflected in the retrieval stage. Compared to the retrieval process in traditional RAG, Agentic RAG is more capable of deciding whether to search choosing which search engine to use, evaluating the retrieved context, and deciding whether to research and determining whether to use external tools. Now let's get on with the guide on how to build an AI chatbot using LangGraph, DeepSeek R1, Function Call, and Agentic Rag. When it comes to creating this chatbot, 
we will create an ideal environment for the code to work, we need to install the necessary Python libraries. For this, we will do a pip install of the libraries below. Once installed, we import the important dependencies like Langchain, Langgraph, and Streamlit. I create two databases. The first set is called Research Texts, and it includes some research-related statements, like reports and papers about AI and machine learning. The second set of development texts includes statements about ongoing projects, such as UI design, testing features, and optimization before a product release, but feel free to customize the data depending on your use case. Let's process the data by splitting it into smaller parts, converting it into document objects, and then creating vector embeddings. I use recursive character text splitter to break long pieces of text into smaller chunks, ensuring that each chunk has a maximum of 100 characters. Then, I converted the split texts into document objects using splitter dot create documents. These document objects will be useful later when working with DeepSeq R1 for searching. We store research and development documents as vector embeddings and make them searchable using retrievers. First, I use Chroma from documents to create a vector store for research docs, where the embedding equal embeddings convert text into numerical vectors, and collection name equal research collection ensures the documents are stored in a dedicated collection for efficient retrieval. Once both research and development texts are stored as vectors, we use retrieval to find and retrieve the most relevant document from a vector store. Then we provide an AI agent with a tool. You first need to create a retriever and then import the tool. I use the create retriever tool function in Langchain to create a tool for retrieving documents. The documents retrieved by this tool can be extracted from the return value of the function that this tool wraps. I developed an agent function that works as a smart router for user questions. I extract the user's message and use a prompt to categorize it as either research or development related. I connect to DeepSeq R1 with a temperature of 0.7 for balanced responses. When the API responds, I check if it's a research or development query, then use the appropriate retriever to find relevant documents. I format everything into a standard message format including both the query and results. If it doesn't fit either category, I return a direct answer. Think of it as a traffic controller, directing questions to the right database for the best answers. Then we designed a grading function that checks if our search was successful. I look at the last message received and check if it contains any retrieved documents. If I find documents marked by results document, I signal to move forward with generating an answer if I don't find any documents, I suggest rewriting the question for better results. It's like a quality check, making sure we have the right materials before proceeding. I developed a generation function that creates the final answer from our found documents. I start by getting the original question and any documents we found in our search. I extract the document content and create a prompt that asks DeepSeq R1 to summarize the findings, focusing on key research advancements. I set up the API call with specific headers and a temperature of 0.7 for balanced creativity. Once I get a response, I format it into a user-friendly message. If something goes wrong with the API call, it lets you know about the error. Then I designed a rewrite function that helps improve unclear questions. I take the original question and ask DeepSeq R1 to make it more specific and clearer. I set up the API call with custom headers and a balanced temperature of 0.7, then ask the model to rewrite the question. When I get a response, I check if it worked properly. If it did, I return the improved question. If not, we'll print the error. I created a decision-making function that checks if we need to use any tools based on the message content. I look at the last message and check if it matches our tool pattern, which looks for action at the start. If it matches, I signal that we should retrieve information using our tools. If it doesn't match, I signal that we should end the process. Let's create a workflow system that connects all our functions in a logical sequence. I used a lang graph where each function is a node, starting with the agent that first receives the question. I set up special paths using edges. When the agent needs tools, it goes to retrieve information. If not, it ends. After retrieving, I check the documents. 
good results go to generate an answer, while poor results go back to rewrite the question. Let's make a function that manages how questions flow through our system. I take a user's question and process it through the workflow app, collecting every event like searching, finding documents, or generating answers into a list. Then we use Streamlit to create a clean layout and put database content in a sidebar for easy reference. In the main area, I created a text input box for questions and split the screen into two columns. In the first column, I handle the question processing. When you click the Get Answer button, I show a loading spinner and process your question through the workflow. I display any found documents in expandable sections and show the final answer with a green success box. In the second column, I added helpful instructions and example questions. Agentic RAG and DeepSeek are one function call are innovative information retrieval and generation technologies that can take action autonomously. They can even complete complex tasks by breaking them down into smaller steps and calling the appropriate tools when needed, pushing the boundaries of AI in real-time decision-making and dynamic content generation. As these technologies evolve, the applications will become more diverse, driving innovation across numerous industries. Agentic RAG and DeepSeek R1 function call are innovative information retrieval and generation technologies that can take action autonomously. They can even complete complex tasks by breaking them down into smaller steps and calling the appropriate tools when needed, pushing the boundaries of AI in real-time decision-making and dynamic content generation. As these technologies evolve, their applications will become more diverse, driving innovation across numerous industries.